And then, like, you know, you get all those paranoid thoughts, like, does she even like me? Does she, did that even matter to her? Does she even care? Does she all I remember from the rest of the night was you called your mom because you wanted her to take you to this apartment. And your mom's like, Jack, go to bed. You just peed your pants. You shouldn't be going anywhere else. How did she know I peed my pants? You told her. Oh. And my sister was a hater. She was like, wait, I'm not comfortable about this anymore. And then my sister ended up being very upset with something that we did. And if you want to hear that story time, leave a like and comment. Because I feel we'll so that bad for that. That one's probably a better story time than even this one. I feel so bad. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, let's get it, J-Fam! Let's get it, J-Fam! That's probably about as excited as this video is going to be this entire video. That didn't make any sense. Did, did, you, did you hear what I just said? Yeah, it just That's wasn't English at all, it but it's not. okay. Shake it off, shake it off, and try again. We need to calm down, okay? We need to calm down. Anyways, what's crack a lack and crackheads? My name is Jack. I'm JC. Welcome back to the channel of Pure Awesomeness and Galore AJ Fam. Today, we're going to be telling you the story of how we, uh, I wouldn't say met because we've already we've known, known each, each other. Because we've known each other for a while, but more of how we connected, how we knew we liked each other. You better believe and sparks, sparks were flying. And how sparks were flying, there was chemistry. Wow, I was you know? afraid we were going to start a fire. I was like, where's that bear? Smokey the bear. Smokey the bear. We don't, we, Smokey the bear's around here somewhere, or at least I hope he is, because with the sparks that are flying out it of my asshole. It was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. Have you guys ever seen, the, some of you girls might relate to this, have you ever seen the Vampire Diaries? There's this episode, Damon and Elena are like dancing on each other, oh, and they're yeah. just like in the moment. Oh, we yeah. kind of had a moment like that that night. Yeah. We did. I don't remember it because I turned right. 21, so I was, I was, I was on another level, ladies and gentlemen. You better believe it. A couple drinks went down the, the hatch, and then the rest of the night, I actually was ended a blur. up pissing myself. His mom was there. His sister. Uh, okay, was there. you'll you'll it hear about it. It was crazy. Stay tuned. Make sure you watch this video until the end. Ooh. So it's June 25th, 2020. Um, I've been single now for about three and a half months, four months, been going through a breakup. I haven't, at this point, I'm not super, super depressed, but I'm, I'm, I'm still in that stage of just like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm having a hard time, right? It's, it's difficult. And you know when you have those friends that are just like, dude, like, don't be depressed. Like, dude, just like, have a good time. Forget about it. Like, dude, just like, stop thinking about it. And you're like, oh my gosh, all my problems are solved. Oh my God. I, I figured it out. I didn't realize it was that easy. Just stop being sad. Stop. Don't. Oh my God. It's been there the whole time. Oh my God. The answers. Anyway, yeah. So I've been pretty upset. I don't want to go out, but my friends are telling me to, and they're just like, dude, like, just go out and like, have a good time, dude. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I end up going out. I would have gone out anyway, don't get me wrong, but they certainly wanted me to go out. So we go to this club called Boogie. And I don't gross know why it's, it's called that. It's a gross name. It yeah. sounds like boogers. It sounds like the yeah. little things that are up your nose. It sounds like a Mucinex commercial. <laughs> you know, when they're like, the boogers are in the, and they're just like, they all the look The green ugly. little boogies. Yeah. Boogies. I don't like, I think it's because it's like, get boogie with it. Or, no, no, uh, like, oh my god, boogie boogie. Right. What is it? Like, what is the term? I know I've heard get boogie. No, no, it's time it's to boogie. Time to yeah, boogie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, I knew that. <laughs> I feel like when we accomplish something like that, we should we kiss, need to kiss, we should just smooch it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm nervous. Anyway, yeah, so we go to this club called Boogie, and we get there around about 10 o'clock, and there's already a good amount of people there, but it's not crowded by any means. Within 30 minutes, it's crowded. Like, it's, it's like you can't walk. Everyone have must to, have known. You have to push people, you have to elbow people to like, get through the way. No, you don't. I had don't to. Feel At like, least I had to. Okay, well, you're a 105 pound <laughs> Filipino chick, okay? Look, I'm, I'm, for the guys out there, don't feel like this is the answer. That's you're gonna I hurt to someone. When people were like, oh my gosh, someone just poked me. So <laughs> someone turned the AC on? <laughs> <laughs> like, like elbowing people as hard as I can. JC's Jace, trying to get this big dude to move. He turns around like, is there, is there a bee on my back? Anyway, uh, it's about 10.30 now, and it's bumping. I mean, everyone must have just found out that it was Jack Breedman's birthday, okay? I, if I, I do say so myself, I'm quite the big deal. 
Yeah. A lot of people there. Okay, a lot of people there. I'm having a great time. I, you know when you go out and you see a bunch of people you recognize? It's it, I, That was what it was. For some night. reason, everyone we knew was there It was that a great night. time. There was nowhere else anyone was. So, there. I'm saying hello, hello, hi, hi. You know, I'm dancing on ladies, getting my, throwing it back. Yeah, you like that walk? Girls are starting to get uncomfortable, starting to get nervous. Guys are starting to get jealous there's of like me. There's like a circle around. There's like a circle around you because no one wants to be near you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that had to do a lot with the stench that was coming from me, or perhaps and the, the fact that the I was. And the dance moves you were you were throwing down. And I was like, like naked. Yeah, that one too. Anyways, I'm having a good time. I'm just, you know, talking to people, dancing and all that. But, you know, something's missing. You know, something, something's missing. It's not there yet. And I'm like, I can feel it. It's at the tip of my tongue. I was the thing that but was But I can't. I'm, and I was like, oh, yeah. I turned 21 in like an hour and a half. Duh. Okay. <laughs> uh, duh. I'll let you, I'll let you okay. continue the story for Yeah, so basically I went to Boogie with all my friends, like all of my closest friends. And basically his sister, who is also my best friend, came up to me and was it's like... It's weird. Came up to me and was like, hey, my brother thinks you're hot. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay, I, my confidence level went from here to here. Uh -huh. So I went up to him and I was like, hey, you want to dance? And he had no idea what, he, what was going on. He was like, yeah, let's dance. But the thing is, when people, when people, when you think dance, it's like grinding. No, we were literally just no, dancing. we were dancing. actually dancing. We were busting a move. <laughs> We were getting boogie with it. Did Jason, if you ever say we we were busting a move, I thought we were busting a nut on that dance floor. <laughs> no, we weren't grinding on each other. We weren't twerking on each other. We were literally like. <laughs> we were probably really cringy now that I think about no, it. No, definitely. Yeah, we were. We were not. All right, and then while we were dancing, this man decides to just grab my face and start making out with me in front of everyone. You skipped so much. <laughs> What did I skip? You skipped so way too much. Hold on, backtrack. <laughs> okay, let me my take bad. it from here, babe. My Hold bad. On. All right, my look. bad. Is it Halloween? Because you are quite the treat. What did I miss? Look, can, can, I, can I begin a sentence without being interrupted? Okay. We're dancing, you know, we're having a good time, and I'm like, and I remember this, okay, because there's not much of the night that I actually remember. But at this point, she's come up to me, I've, you know, come out of my comfort zone, we're dancing and whatever, and I just remember you in front of me, and you're really little, so I'm like looking down at you, and it's kind of dark, and there's a lot of lights, and I remember this, like, in my head. Like a bunch of flashing You lights. are like right here in my peripheral, and you're just smiling, going like this. That's my go-to dance move. It just felt move. right. That is my go-to dance move, It too. just felt right. Like, I don't know. I just felt so in the moment, like, for the first time in a very long time. And I'm not even serious. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, I, and I'm not even I'm serious. I'm not even serious. This no, is all just made No, I'm not even kidding. Up. Like, this is for real. Like, I was, like, in the moment for, like, the first time in a very long time. And I was like, oh wait a minute. Gosh. That was cool. But at, in, in the at that point, I didn't, like, think of it like that. Yeah. I just thought you were, like, cute. But, yeah. like, backtrack, like, thinking back on it, that's how it felt. And she's just smiling in front of me, dancing, and I thought she was just the cutest thing ever. And I think I told you that. You did. Okay, you I was did. gonna say, I'm pretty sure like, I told oh you that. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. I grabbed her face, though. <laughs> I grabbed her face and told her that. And um, we're, we're about to get to the point where I don't remember much. Um, but at this point, it's about 11.30, I would say. We're dancing, whatever, whatever. And then I turn 21. Right, so now a lot of people are like, happy birthday, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. I'll let you tell. Like, and I gave him my card and I said, go buy yourself a drink. And I went to, with you to the bar and I didn't get a drink, obviously, because I'm not 21. But I was like cheering you on uh -huh. while you took your very first shots when you were 21. How romantic is that? That's so romantic. Oh my god. Sounds so trashy. We it might as well. Has. We met at a gas station. She was getting some beer and I was filling up the tank. And all of a sudden we just started making out right there. That's basically what happened. My, her breath smelled like beef jerky and my breath smelled like beer. Damn it. Hot dog. Yeah, so I bought him his first shots um, of being 21. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. I didn't realize that, but mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. So, as soon as I like looked at my phone, I was like, oh my minute, gosh, wait. it's midnight. Where's Jack? Where's Jack? And wait, I went up to you. I thought you used your friend's credit card. <laughs> ah! I was like, wait, there's no way I don't know that. There's no way I don't remember that. I knew there was something that I was missing in that story. Damn it. I was like, nah. -uh. I was like, damn it. Because you, you would have like, you would have made me like pay you back or no, something. No, I would not. Uh, 
no, JC's, this is what JC does. Rather than making me pay her back, she just guilt trips me five times in a row until I take her to dinner. That's, uh, no sushi tonight? You remember whenever I bought those shots for you two months ago? <laughs> Probably not, but I did. It was my roommate's card. I was gonna say, something's fishy about she that. She gave it to me and she's like, go find someone to... And you just knew. I just... <laughs> you just knew. Yeah. You just knew. You were like, he's over there. You yeah. were like, I remember you said, you were like, take the shots with me. And the bouncer was like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> So, now it's midnight, I have a few drinks in me. Um, Not a few, a lot. I have a lot a of lot drinks lot in me. Of I drinks. Had, basically, imagine you have like, I had a, quite a few people around me, and they were just sort of like, you know, we're celebrating it's my birthday, so like, they were just giving me drinks, and when you're drinking, and it's your 21st, and everyone's going, yeah, do it, yeah, drink this, oh yeah, down the ass, it's like, Okay. You're like, like, what am I gonna say? To, you no. can't say no. I can't say no. So, uh, long story short, I'm I'm trashed. I just get trashed. He is completely blacked out. Completely. Um, and I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I don't remember any of it, so I'll let JC tell as much. Basically, as she can. the whole rest of the night at Boogie, we were all over each other. We were all over each other and making out in front of everyone and just basically making everyone around us extremely, extremely uncomfortable. For the first time in a long time, I didn't care anymore. I was like, I felt like free. Like I just felt, you know what? Screw it. I deserve this. I like this. This is fun. This is like new to me. And it was like, I was so in the moment. I remember just feeling like this was like, the start of something new. Like this was like, this is how I should be living my life. Not in this like miserable, you know, hole of darkness. I should just be trying to actually get out of my comfort zone and experience life and experience people that I like. And that's kind of like <clears throat> what this felt like. It just, it just felt right. It really did. And I do remember thinking that in the moment. Um, and that's kind of what led to me going absolutely crazy because afterwards is when the story gets really good. We were all over each other the whole night making out, dancing, whatever. And making everyone jealous. Making everyone not jealous, uncomfortable. They no. like they were uncomfortable like watching us. Were they really? I think so. I don't think so. I think when you so. think about the people that were around and I the guess pictures, you're right. no one I every guess you're I feel right. like that would, I feel like people were happy for her. Us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And his sister was coming up. To, we like went to the bathroom because girls always go to the bathroom together. And she was like, "You better marry my brother." She's like, "Please date my brother. Please, please fall in love with my brother." And I was like, "Okay." She is not uncomfortable with it. Really? I thought, yeah. I mean, you've told me this, but like, I thought she'd be. Again. I thought she'd be extremely like, no, 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 no. Like, I don't approve. But she was like. Go for it. We were so in the moment dancing, like just focused on each other. <coughs> like, okay, okay. <laughs> like my, my, my attention was only on him. I lost my phone for like 30 minutes. You, do you have no, okay. It, it, it's like a, it's like a mosh pit in this building, essentially. When you lose your phone, you might as well assume I it's almost, either gone forever or someone's using it right now. I almost started crying. I put, I remember putting my phone on this table behind us, yeah. and I looked back like 30 minutes later, and it was just gone. It was gone. And she doesn't have a passcode. I don't have a passcode, no. And so, my card was in the back, my driver's license, everything that I could possibly need. Basically, JC's not phone. very responsible. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. But I am, so, I'm not really either. I was running around. At first I ignored it for like 10 minutes. I was like, aunt, whatever. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just something I would do. I would just forget about it. Yeah. And then after a while I realized, oh shit, my phone's like actually gone. So I remember running around. I went up to every single bartender, like the bouncer. I went up to everyone that like worked there. And I was like, have you seen a phone? 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 And I couldn't find it for like 45 minutes. And he wasn't helping, of course. I don't remember this, but I'm sure in the moment I was just worried they're gonna see my nudes. They're gonna see my nudes. Someone's gonna see my nudes. It's my birthday. I have a YouTube channel. This is gonna be huge. Everyone's gonna make this a huge, they're gonna see it. They're gonna see him. I just, I had just sent you a fresh batch of them earlier, yeah. like five minutes before going to Boogie. Yeah. I'm totally kidding, but that's terrifying. It was really scary, yeah. but luckily, I like went up to this random guy that worked there, and I was like, he was like, oh yeah, I have a phone. Random he, guy. And, shut up. And he was like, oh, what's the passcode? And I was like, I don't have a passcode. So I made him pull up my Instagram that was like on the phone and like put it next to my face. And I was like, look, it's me, T give me my phone. And he was like, okay, yeah. And just gave me my phone back. But I got so lucky. 
Someone could have so easily stole that and like just sold it, like taken it to a pawn shop or something. Yeah. Very scary. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> so now it's time to leave. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I walk out the back entrance because my friends are leaving and they need me to go there. But I get kicked out the back entrance because it closes. So you can't they, go yeah. you can't go through the middle to get to the front anymore. You have to go through the back. So I go out the back entrance and I'm wrapping around the block to go to the front to see my friends. As I'm going, this car stops on the in, in the road, rolls its window down and yells, Jack! Scares me half to death. Oh my god, why is someone yelling at me? Why does someone know who I am? What is going on? I'm like, is this the paparazzi? <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm not famous. So I turn to the right and I see my mother. <laughs> so basically, my friend, my best friend Olivia was like, oh my gosh, we don't have anyone. My sister. Yeah, your sister. Why are you saying my best friend? <laughs> because she's also my best friend. Yeah, well, so that's my Olivia, sister. So Olivia, Olivia was like, oh my gosh, you know what? We don't have a ride anywhere. I'm just gonna call my mom and have her pick us up. So basically, we were walking around downtown for like 15 minutes because she couldn't find us. Olivia's mom couldn't find us. Like, we couldn't find her. We were just walking around lost, like just, we were being stupid and you can go now. So I guess that's why my mom was there? Yeah, right? she was picking us okay, up. Okay, so anyways, my mom's like, get in this car right now. And I remember it, okay? You don't, rem you don't forget when your mom is yelling at you all angrily. So I'm like, okay. So I get in the car and then she pulls up to the front. And then my sister, her friend, and then JC gets in the car. But I'm like, no, JC's not sitting in the back. She's sitting with me in the passenger seat. So now I grab JC and she's sitting in my lap. In the passenger seat next to my mom, who was driving me, JC, my sister, and her friend back to wherever you were going. Mm, I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> my mom drives us all to my apartment where she drops me off. My mom drops me off at the apartment, right? So I go up. Oh, no, I, no, no. You forgot stuff. He was sitting there begging me to come into the apartment with him. You, you, I was, you were like, JC, you're coming inside with me. And I was like... No, your mom's here. That's so uncomfortable and awkward. And you were like, no, 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 I'm not going inside until JC comes inside with me. And you were also trying to suck my face off with your mother driving. Really? Yes. You were literally grabbing onto me like this and you were like, JC, come into, come into the apartment with me. Come into the apartment with me. And I was like, no. I was like, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> really? Yes. Damn, I really wanted her bad. Yeah, you did. You were like begging me. You were like, JC, what the heck? Come inside with me. I was simping. <laughs> you were simping. That hard. Yeah, and your mom was like, Jack, get out of the car. She doesn't want to come inside. Get out of the car. Oh, bullshit. The thing is, I did want to come inside, but I was like, that is so uncomfortable. Because your mom wasn't driving. Mm. Like, I didn't want to be like... I don't know. I just thought that would have been really weird. That would have been really weird. I thought so. Yeah. So that's fair. Okay, I'm learning new things every day. <laughs> you didn't know that? I, I, I guess I did, because I think you told me that, but like, it, I didn't. It's not until you're being told straight up in front of a camera for a bunch of people to hear that it's like, whoa, really? <laughs> okay. Um, I get up to my apartment and I start peeing myself. <laughs> um, I've never done that before, but I start urinating. Uh, he left pants. a trail of pee. And so I start peeing as I'm walking into the entrance to my apartment and I, as I'm peeing myself, walk to my door. I then realize I'm peeing myself. I can't go, um, I can't go into my room. That'd be gross. I don't, I don't went think, into your room anyway. I don't think to stop peeing. No, I didn't. I don't think to stop peeing. So I, I'm grabbing my door. I don't touch it. I turn around. I grab my uh, key to get into my apartment and I leave because I'm going to this other person's apartment. Uh, it was another girl. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was. Actually? I think it was. Actually, yeah, technically it was. But it was just another party type thing. Oh, uh, uh, JC! Will you calm down? So, uh, yeah. Oh, and then I asked, like, what was the other guy you were talking to? Bouncer guy? Huh? I was looking for my phone. Oh, yeah, he oh, just no. happened to have your phone. Yeah, good one, JC. Yeah, yeah, you're not fooling anyone. I grab the key, and I go down, and I'm going to walk, because it's like two blocks, not even. And this girl stops me in the parking lot. She's like, hey, what you doing? What's up? And you know, blah, 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 blah. She probably could tell that I like had no idea where I was. Yeah, probably. And she, for whatever reason, offers to give me a ride after I say that I'm going to this apartment complex. And she's like, I can give you a ride. Don't get rides from strangers. 
For some reason, I thought this was safe. So I do. I get this ride from the stranger, and she drives me there. Keep in mind, I am drenched in piss. Urine. I've peed myself, and uh, it didn't seem to bother her. So, uh, I shout out to you. She had to clean her car. <sighs> you just drenched her seat. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I you definitely know. left, like, a little puddle or something. Maybe. That's just me claiming my territory, though. I'm a I dog. Poof! Yeah. She drives me there. She, I get there. She drops me off. And I remember this. I get to the entrance, and one of my best friends, who was in town that weekend for my birthday, comes down to open the door, and then I know it's just time to get lit. Oh, man. We get to the apartment, and we go absolutely crazy. And then, like, 30 minutes into it, I'm pretty sure I'm crying about like how you're not there or something like that. It was really sad. I was like, for the first time I feel like everything made sense and she was so cool and now she's not there. Really? Yeah. Aww. It was pretty embarrassing. That's right? so sweet. Yeah. I was, I was just basically like having an emotional breakdown because it was like, it got so good and then mm -hmm. you were gone and so it wasn't good anymore. And so I was just like, ah, I lost her. And then I was like, then like, you know, you get all those paranoid thoughts like, does she even like me? Does she, did that even matter to her? Does she even care? Did, like, you know, all those like, mm -hmm. all those like, um, thoughts were just swirling through my head. And then I ended up passing out in one of my best friend's ex-girlfriend's bed until the next day where I then woke up with a bunch of my other friends that had also passed out there. And then we woke up, went to breakfast and that was that. Nice. All I remember from the rest of the night was you called your mom because you wanted her to take you to this apartment. And your mom's like, Jack, go to bed. You just peed your pants. You shouldn't be going anywhere else. How did she know I peed my pants? You told her. Oh. She's like, nope, you peed your pants. You gotta just go to bed. Like, you don't need to go anywhere else. I'm not coming to get you. She just hung up. Yeah. And then she took us to Steak and Shake and then back to my house. And then I went to bed. <laughs> Thinking about you, of course. I would hope so. <laughs> and then we wanted to hang out again, and then so my we sister went, wasn't okay with so it. So then we went to Boogie again the next week Wednesday. Yeah, and my sister was a hater. She was like, wait, I'm not comfortable about this anymore. And then my sister ended up being very upset with something that we did. And if you want to hear that story time, leave a like and comment. because I feel we'll so that bad for that. That one's probably a better story time than even this one. I feel so bad about that. Yeah. I like to forget about it. I've, I like to pretend that didn't happen. But basically, you're going to have to like this video and let us know that you want to hear it. Because it's a good one. Um, we, I almost lost. Like, my sister almost disowned me. And, you, like, and me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, my dad. My dad blew our cover. Oh god, dude, I hate that. Uh, that was awful. We should have my sister here for that video to tell it to. She still goes around and is like, that might be one of the worst things anyone's ever done to me. <laughs> like, she still goes around and tells people that. <laughs> okay, before you think that we did like the worst, most mischievous thing ever, we didn't. We basically just couldn't stay away from each other. We couldn't stay away from each other, and my sister, after we had already hung out a couple times and decided we liked each other, told us that it wasn't okay, but it was too late. Because she'd been pushing for this, and all of a sudden she's like, no, it was too late. We'd already, we'd oh already made God. the bond. So yeah, it, wait, not, not like that, but like we'd already bonded, and so we didn't want to like not be around each mm -hmm. other. And then we started playing Animal Crossing. And then I bought her a Nintendo Switch because I thought I wasn't going to be able to see her for yeah, a long time. Yeah, I was really confused. Her parent, or my sister didn't want us to hang out, and I was like, okay, fine. And I thought we weren't going to be able to hang out, so I bought her a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> That's all we're going to, we're telling too much already. It gets way bad. It's it gets, really, really like, bad. Like, my family, all my friends, my her family, family, everyone's involved. <laughs> that was so stressful. That was so bad. I was, I remember, I was like, FaceTime me, I was like, oh my god. I was like crying. Remember if you want to hear that story, leave a like, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to take it one, one day, day at a time. time. <laughs> oh my god, alright, I want more gummy bears. Let's just be funny. Like, kind of, like we're having a good time. Should I laugh? Should I do that? Yeah, scoot over though. Ugh. Let's get closer. Yeah, be laughing. <laughs> Is 
Is that good? I think so. I agree.